let me just start off by saying that this film looks like an absolute masterpiece. Let's close down the Oscars for this year because all of them should go to the new Minecraft movie. I mean, look at Jack Black. I mean, Steve Jack Black. I couldn't really tell because that's how amazing his performance was in this trailer. I guarantee you Leonardo DiCaprio, Joaquin Phoenix, and all these marquee actors, they're definitely going to regret not being in this absolute classic. And when I saw those special effects on screen, I was literally jizzing, like legitimately jizzing. That's how amazing this trailer was put together. Not to mention Jason Momoa. Remember when he was that weird DC character that used to like swim around in the ocean and, you know, like do stuff? What an upgrade this is for him. I mean, just look at his outfit. This dude is living life in this trailer. I will say we are definitely missing a scene where Jack Black and Jason Momoa are punching a tree not like a real life tree like a minecraft tree with all of the accurate sound effects by the way where is that banger minecraft soundtrack at I, I just don't understand how they couldn't mix that into the trailer every time i listen to that music i know shit is about to go down i'm about to lose like six hours of my life and it wasn't in the trailer but regardless of those minor little issues this is an absolute brilliant masterpiece and I can't wait for April. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to quit my job today and actually like pitch a tent outside of the movie theater. I'm going to start camping out like right now as we speak, I'm actually sitting in a tent outside in the sun. Anyways, all jokes aside guys, I really quickly wanted to give you guys my personal thoughts on this uh, movie because like, I don't know if I'm necessarily, like, accredited to talk about this, but I did grow up playing Minecraft, as I'm sure millions of us did, and we would, you know, waste our entire childhoods playing this game. It definitely was incredibly addicting. There was always something new and exciting to do, especially if you were playing with friends or brothers or, you know, just randoms online. There was always something really intriguing about being able to build something, destroy it. Or if you were a total weirdo, you could go around just punching things like pigs and, I don't know, dogs maybe, because you're definitely not going up against an Enderman with no armor and just punching them. But it was always fun. That's exactly my point. But I feel like, honestly, people are losing their minds over nothing you can clearly see that this film is not made for adults it's not made for the hardcore gamers that have grown up playing this game it's essentially made for the newer generation of gamers you know like anybody under the age of 10 it's not warner bros fault that you're a middle-aged man who is still obsessed with this game i get it it was a huge part of our childhoods and we continue to pay, play it to this day but were just not the intended audience that's how i feel so if you honestly think that this movie was going to be any good i mean from the trailer i can still feel like there's going to be some little moments here and there it's still going to be watchable but i feel like there's a lot of people that are just losing their minds or out there trying to start riots and literally stop traffic and the entire universe just because this movie wasn't up to par the graphics or the visuals for this film are just absolutely horrendous the acting looks really bad but you do have marquee actors in there and it's a movie for children so i don't know maybe i'm going too easy on the film but i guarantee you if you show it to like a mini human like a small human a child i mean i guarantee you it's gonna blow their mind they're gonna think it's like the greatest thing ever created by mankind i mean i remember when they released the dora live action film nobody was boycotting that thing nobody was out there trying to start riots and and get people to be fired and like lose their livelihoods over it it was dora it was meant for like children who were into dora at the time i don't think that adults that used to watch dora would go back and watch it or maybe they did maybe they brought their children i don't know i just feel like companies had a or i should say warner bros had like a very specific audience and that's essentially what they went with they didn't really bother too much with including every single age group because i'm sure that they had like some sort of you know chart that told them that adults will no longer watch minecraft movies which maybe is wrong maybe it's right i mean everybody can say hey i would have watched that movie if it was good but we'll never know i think that they just went with their gut feeling they said we're gonna make a movie for children and i think that's exactly what we got like i said i just wanted to share my personal opinion on this because i do feel like people are going extremely hard at this film for i wouldn't say no reason but 
very little reason it, it's a movie that is childish it's cheesy i still think it's going to be watchable and it, i will definitely be there april 4th or maybe not the fourth because you know i have a life and you know i do things i'll probably check it out like that weekend and uh, take my kids and see you know what what transpires here i'm not the biggest fan of everybody in this film but as i said i've built my castle or two in the minecraft universe and i definitely have to see what what all the fuss is about I will say my closing statement here, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to go back and re-edit some things or even reshoot some things after all of the hate and criticism that, they've re that they have received, especially after seeing what they did with Sonic, for example, which I know is not the same studio, but it's kind of like the same mindset, I guess. That movie was still really bad, but at least they rechanged or they retooled the, the design for Sonic. So I could easily see them doing something like this, obviously not editing a character character throughout an entire film but at least maybe cutting some scenes or adding a little bit something extra for the adults or the people that are you know losing their minds over this movie i could definitely see that happening i know it's like right around the corner and what is it like april is i don't know maybe like six months from now i'm very bad at you know calculations but yeah i think it's about like six months it's not a lot of time for a studio to go back in there and those usually are very expensive just ask warner bros when they had to delete a certain character's mustache out of his face. Anyways, we've already made that joke, but it's kind of still very relevant. Again, this is just my personal opinion, my personal take from somebody that has definitely spent more than a few hundred hours on Minecraft. Let me know your thoughts down below. Am I being too soft on this movie? Should I go harder? Should I just completely destroy it and bash it? Should I take my Minecraft Xbox disc and just like wipe my ass with it? don't do that because it might crack and then you'll have like shards up your ass anyways just my point is should i have gone harder on this or is is it not really that big of a deal let me know your thoughts down below thank you guys for watching i'm going to try to upload a little bit more consistently to this channel it's kind of difficult you know life meanie humans you know that they call children those usually take up quite a bit of time so let me know your thoughts down below stay safe out there i'll see you guys in the next one